I'm WOKV Stephanie Brown wrapping up a long day here at Jacksonville City Hall where the City Council did a few notable things. The first was approving a roadmap to redeveloping downtown Jacksonville, allocating a little trust fund money to go with that, although there's no firm city dollars. You can find a full breakdown at WOKV.com. The second thing, we got a better idea of just how long it's going to take to restore power at Liberty Street and the townhomes there following the road collapse. The Public Works Department Department says along with JEA and the Homeowners Association it's looking like at least another 10 to 12 days before the proper equipment comes in. We'll continue to track all the concerns and the ongoing investigation into what exactly caused that collapse. Finally, and this is a story I've got for you tomorrow on Jacksonville's Morning News, we're looking at a new sales tax option that's been introduced by Councilman Bill Gulliford. He wants a half cent sales tax to be put on the May ballot. That would help fund the 1.6 $5 billion pension debt. Let us know if you would support this action by sending us an open mic on the News 1045 app.